Hope that you are safe and warm wherever you are because millions are waking up to the dangerous cold this Friday morning. Temperatures in the east plummeting after that storm came through. Some could face wind chills of 50 degrees below zero. And look at the impact right there. Firefighters Newark, New Jersey battling a blaze overnight in this icy cold. There were 80 on the scene and you just see them covered in ice working very hard this morning. Let's also look at Long Island here in New York this morning. There are the roads, at least they're clear. They're moving pretty well this morning, but a lot of snow has come down and there's a lot of concern about black ice this morning. Yeah, don't go out if you don't have to, but our team is out there. They're spreading out across the storm zone. Let's start with Ginger, who's outside our studio here in Times Square. And Ginger, we're just starting to see the worst of these frigid temps. Yes, and this is the coldest air for a place like Pittsburgh or Cleveland that they've had since February 2015. So it's been a little while. It's 10, a balmy 10 out here in Times Square. The wind chill four below. And I know if you're in South Dakota or Minnesota, you're saying that's no big deal. But watch what happened in Boston yesterday. Frozen, socked in more than 13 inches of snow and the ocean coming in from the harbor. That fire truck trying to get through that coastal flooding. The wind was such a huge part of the storm and now Oh, it's the cold. Those are actual air temperatures. Three in Cincinnati. Wind chill advisories all the way to the deep south and right there in Boston this morning. Eva Pilgrim, it's two degrees for you. Feels like Eva, how you doing? Oh, it is bitterly cold out here this morning. Ginger, this car right here abandoned. It was caught in the flooding here at the Boston Harbor, and you can see it is encased in ice. It is not going anywhere anytime soon. The driver of this car, we actually saw this driver rescued by firefighters yesterday, one of many trapped in those icy flooding waters. Ferocious waves flooded cities and frozen streets creating chaos in Boston. Unquestionably the worst I've seen it down here. Oh my God, I kept seeing it come closer and closer. <laughs> it's like, oh no. It was pounding. The, it was hitting the uh, seawall and going above the telephone poles. Homes and businesses flooded by several feet of water. That water then freezing in place, trapping entire streets of cars. This happened all in a matter of 45 minutes. Lifeboats deployed in the roads, pulling loads of pedestrians to safety. And just south, a family trapped in their home was rescued by a tractor, climbing into the bucket so they could escape. Plus treacherous driving conditions, leaving many without a paddle. One person trying to brave the weather, steering straight into frigid floodwaters, only making a short way before the headlights flicker and the engine goes dead. The driver then forced to get out of the car and walk to dry land. Dozens taken to the hospital and the bitter bomb's death toll keeps climbing. We immediately knew it was some sort of um, toxin that was taking everyone over. In New Jersey, a teenage girl killed and three dozen others hospitalized after an entire building filled with carbon monoxide. People were laying on the hallway floors. You have to get out now. You can't stay here another minute. And uh, here in Boston, just to show you how frigid these temperatures are and how encased this car is, you can see this ice going nowhere, the tire completely encased. The wind blowing so hard right now, I'm actually having to brace myself a little against the car to keep from getting knocked over. And that's the major concern here. These sub-zero temperatures, feels like temperatures that we will be experiencing here in the next few days, like making this road turn into ice. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.